Oh, scaly breasts are very cute because they have these really cool yellow feathers on their chest that makes it look like they have scales. Now these guys are nectivores, that means they eat things like nectar, pollen, soft roots and some greens. Uh, so we give them a special nectivore mix. Um, it is formulated especially for these guys and we just give them a little bit in the morning and afternoon. Um, what's really important for these birds, because they are wild, uh, we want them to maintain their natural wild diet. So um, they're out foraging for their own food, which is why sometimes they're not very hungry and they won't come down to eat. Um, so it's the same thing with all wild, wild animals. Um, you know, we want them to maintain their natural diets. Uh, for these guys, we just give them this mix um, so you get to get up nice and close with these beautiful birds. Uh, but like I said, sometimes they're not too hungry um, and we just get a few coming down. Uh, sometimes there could also be a bird of prey in the area, um, which uh, they then will hide up in the trees and not really come out. But I think we'll get some today. Um, when it comes to feeding them, they have become quite shy over the last couple of years. So just be patient with them. Wait for them to actually land on the bowls before you pick these up. Um, the best way to hold them is as close to this part as possible. And um, if you get a couple of birds on here, they're actually quite heavy. So if you're holding down here, it's quite possible that you'll tip your food and lose it. Uh, kids, you're going to use two hands. And adults, if you're here with kids, just help them. It is a liquid mix. It can get a bit messy. Uh, now, also being wild birds, we want to respect them by not trying to touch or grab. Um, if they feel threatened at all, they will bite and they have very sharp beaks. So we don't want anyone getting bitten today. We want these birds to have an enjoyable experience and we want all of you guys here to have an enjoyable experience as well. So if they're landing on your head or shoulders, that's totally fine. Just stay nice and calm, uh, but just don't try to touch or grab. Um, you will also notice there's some wild turkeys hanging around. So if you have a pram, I don't see any prams, but if there's any prams, just keep an eye on them. Um, and if you're holding roof food, just pop that in your bag safe. Um, the turkeys will snatch that right out of your hand while you're busy looking at the lorikeets. Um, if the turkeys do come up on these poles, just gently push them away. It is their home. But they make a terrible mess up here. They knock all the bowls over and then the lorikeets can't eat either. Uh, that's it from me. So I'm going to grab the food and um, you guys can enjoy the experience. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>